Recovering by watching. Understanding rope sight. Often a lot of emphasis is put on ringing by watching at the expense of developing people's listening skills and the ability to count your place. Also, if you cannot handle your bell well enough to get it in the right place, you're not going to be able to see who you're following. Because of reaction times, the decision to pull on the rope needs to be taken before you've seen who you are following, so you need to use rhythm to make the decision. Rope sight will tell you whether you have made the right decision. Setting up moving ringers. When you first open Able, you may find a screen with a series of Sally icons like this. If you have a newer version of Able, you can change this to show moving ringers, video clips of real ringers to get a more realistic virtual reality experience. You can do this by going to Options and scrolling down to Screen slash Print Options. A new window will open in this window under Bell Pictures. Scroll down to Moving Ringers and select. You also have the option in this window under Long Pictures to have the ropes in a crescent or in a line. If in a crescent, the simulated bell is the one in the bottom right-hand corner, as with the Sally icons. For this series of videos, we're going to use the ringers in a line view. Then go to the view menu and check that you've turned off user bell movement. The ringer of the simulated bell will then stay still and grayed out. Also, if you're practicing at home, go to the ringing menu and make sure that user starts bell movement is switched off. Otherwise, there will be a delay between pressing the J key and the simulated sound. This is because the video plays from the start of pull and the strike point comes near the end of the stroke. Watching Plane Hunt on 4 Let's start by practicing watching Plane Hunt on 4. Go to the left-hand pane with the list of methods and open Plane Hunt on 4 by double-clicking on it. Make sure that it now shows as the next method. Also make sure that the peel time is around 3 hours. Then start the ringing. And, once you're ready, press G again to go. Now watch the sallies of the first four bells and see who is last. You should see them come in the order 4, 3, 1, 2. Go. Next time. Now try the same again, but this time watch the backstrokes. Then try watching both strokes. If it happens too fast, slow the peel speed down to four, five, or even six hours, and then gradually speed up. There is no need to press the J key, just concentrate on watching. Covering to cloister doubles. Now go to the left hand pane with the list of methods and open cloister doubles with a double click. It should now appear as the next method. In cloister, bells one and two never reach the back. So if you're covering on six, you just need to watch bells three, four and five. Check the peel speed is still three hours and that the number of bells has increased to six. Then start the ringing and G again to go. To start with, just watch the sallies and you will see that each bell spends three hand strokes in fifth's place. After the fifth, you will see the third, then the fourth, then the fifth again, ringing in fifth's place. Go. Next time.
understand. Now try the same again, but this time watch the backstrokes. Then try watching both strokes. You will see that two bells alternate at the back for six rows, and then one goes away, and another joins in at the back. If this happens too fast, slow the peel speed down to four, five, or even six hours, then gradually speed up. Finally, you can then try ringing this. Make sure that the blue bar is above the tenor and press the J key at the appropriate time. Covering by watching five bells. You could now try covering to grandsire doubles. The plain course lasts 30 changes and will take about a minute to ring. Once you have mastered that, you can select a longer composition and there are four options to choose from. 120 A, B, C or D. Once you can do this and strike it well, you'll be ready to explore ABLE by yourself and try covering to other methods.